Hello, I'm Colin Daker with Castanet. This is Mayor's Minute, and I'm joined with, you guessed it, Mayor Andrew Jacobite. Thank you. So, a lot of high water, that's what everybody's talking about lately, obviously, Okanagan Lake. Um, we're expecting that the water could stay high until July 10th. It means no ok Okanagan Beach until about then. Um, no channel could be potentially closed. Is the city of Penticton worried about the impacts uh, it could have on tourism? Um, well, I, I think, you know, what we've been told is, is probably June 10th is sort of when it's going to crest and then very gradually recede. So, yeah, probably into July in terms of having a fair bit of water out there. And, and thank you for saying high water because uh, the media is using the word flooding and other places in the Okanagan, they, they are having some issues. Certainly in Penticton area, uh, we're not flooded out. Uh, we have put sandbags along uh, Okanagan Lake to sort of protect uh, our assets there and there's very little uh, beach on that side. But, you know, Skaha Lake, the, the beach is, is, is pristine and so that's a, a great place to, uh, if you want to lie on the beach, uh, that's there. We've been getting calls about uh, asking about uh, a flooding or the, the media's portrayal of what's happening. And certainly, you know, I, I think it's really important to get that message out there that uh, certainly we're, we're open for business. There's still uh, lots of things to do and there still is opportunities to, to enjoy the water. And Skaha Beach is a beautiful beach and, um, you know, that really hasn't been affected with the, the high water that uh, we're seeing on Okanagan Lake. Yeah, I mean, Skaha Beach probably one of the last beaches really in the Okanagan right now. I mean, is the city planning anything to really get the word out? I mean, uh, beyond Penticton? Uh, certainly social media and, and you know, uh, speaking with the media, we're, we're trying to, uh, and I, I think Travel Penticton, the tourism arm is trying to mount a campaign to sort of remind people that, uh, yes, we're open for business and there's still lots of things to do in Penticton and activities and adventures and, uh, we're starting to later this month get into a lot of our festival events. You know, the uh, the, uh, the the 24th, 25th weekend is is the Peach City Beach Cruise, which is usually about 700 classic cars right along Okanagan Lake. Uh, it's a great venue, uh, Elvis, Elvis Festival. There's a few other ones that are starting to to come in, and so that's when we kick into high gear. And uh, we've also had a lot of people saying, "How can I help? How can I volunteer?" And uh, I think we're pretty good with the sandbags, but you know, we we are planning a a community cleanup. Uh, and we are, we are hoping to do that in you know, uh, mid to third week of June before everything kicks in. And of course everything is contingent on uh, the water levels and how far they recede because right now the, the driftwood is actually helping uh, combat uh, erosion. But at some point in time we do want to have uh, uh, a community effort to come out and help uh, clean our beaches on Okanagan Lake and, and really get ready for the tourism season. Not just for the tourism but also for our residents to be able to you know, take back our beach and enjoy our beach on Okanagan Lake. But in the meantime, Skaha is picture perfect. How, how is Okanagan Lake faring right now? Is it going to take long for it to, to bounce back, you think? I mean, a little bit of damage to the pier there, uh, rock work. I mean, I'm sure a lot of sand is going to have to be returned. I mean, yeah, and, and actually um, at the regional district today, we were speaking to uh, MLA's uh, uh, Larson and Ashton, and one of the questions I asked was, you know, how. Uh, how uh, restrictive or anal is the province going to be with, with sort of that remediation of the, the erosion along the, the, the waterways? Because whenever you're talking about doing anything near water, it, it, there's a lot of hoops to go through. And so I, we're hopeful that common sense will prevail and we, we will be able to uh, uh, reclaim our, our uh, beach that's sort of been sucked back into the water because of all the high water and waves. And um, in terms of costs of what uh, it's going to take to get it back to where it was before, uh, some of that we can't uh, really tell because the water is still so high so we can't uh, access the, the extent of the damage on the, the Qantas walking pier as an example. So uh, still a fair ways uh, before we're sort of uh, out of the, the high water receding and, and really knowing the impact of it. But in the meantime, there's so many things happening in Penticton. Uh, it's a great place to obviously come down and visit for the day or for the weekend. And uh, I think that's the message we just want to make sure everyone understands uh, there's no uh, flood incident here. We do have some high water, but there's all the activities and adventures and uh, things to do are, are still available for people. All right, perfect. That was Mayor's Minute at Castanet Penticton. If you, have any, uh, if you have a question for the mayor, you can send it to letters at castanet.net. Thank you. Kelowna, Penticton, and Vernon. Pick the edition you want to read in the top left corner of the yellow masthead.